Hello everyone and welcome to yet another 2 Minute Tuesday. In today's tip, I, I'm not really sure if I'm going to be able to stick to the 2 minutes, uh, just letting you know, but I wanted to talk about uh, one you know feature that is, it kind of showed up in Dynamics 365 and people are kind of wondering like, well, who added this thing or you know what happened? How, when, when did it make it? Because for some customers, it just popped up, uh, especially if you just migrated into the unified interface, you saw it there and you don't really understand like, oh, this is a cool feature, but you don't really know how to use it. Uh, I've been playing with it. I've worked with several customers who use it and I think it can be pretty powerful and that is the business card reader. And the idea is not just to take a picture of a business card and just to add it as an attachment, but actually create records with a picture of the business card. It's one of the uh, pieces of AI that Microsoft is embedding into Dynamics 365. So here's what we're going to do. Let me show you first how this works. Um, so if I go into Quick Create, for example, and I go into Contact, you notice now that we have this button called Scan Business Card. Now I'm using my PC in this case, and unless you have a camera, you know, if you are using a laptop that has a camera, cool, a lot of people would tape over the camera, so uh, they can't even use it, but imagine you don't have tape, you're actually using your camera like, a, I don't know, um, an off person, because most people cover their camera, but let's say you have it, um, it's kind of weird to be like holding the business card to the camera, and it just kind of gets clumsy, so I feel that this functionality uh, makes more sense in a mobile device in a phone or a tablet even with a tablet it's kind of clumsy but with a phone is perfect right so you're at a conference you're a meeting or something like that somebody gives you a business card you take a picture of it and that creates the record in Dynamics 365 it's pretty awesome so what I like to do is and by the way this is enabled for the lead and the contact entity as well what I like to do is and I, I made some changes on the lead entity to show you if I go into the lead quick create and uh, you know why not for fun? Let's uh, let's just start the countdown and let's go. So uh, one thing that I did right here is to notice that there is the button, the business card, which is by the way a multiple lines of text field that has a control. Uh, if you remember a few weeks ago, we talked about adding the signature control so you can capture or the pen control so you can capture a signature inside a multiple lines of text field. So this is kind of the same thing. We add a multiple lines of text field and within the controls, we enable the AI builder business card control. So if you don't have it already, if it wasn't enabled for you, um, you just have to add that control and you know, just like we did on the video for the pen control. Now, by default, if you have it already, you notice that all three of these radio buttons are checked, meaning that the business card reader, the business card button will show up whether you're on the web client, on your PC or laptop or whatever, uh, on the phone or on the tablet. So what I like to do is I like to switch those off and say, look, I only want it to be available in a phone. Now, once you publish that, this is what it's going to look like. So if I go to new lead, Notice that there's only a few little lines up there. I remove the label, I remove everything, and it just looks like a few lines in there. So people miss it, they just populate it, they don't even know that that is actually a button. But let's switch to the phone so I can actually show you what it looks like on the phone. So let's just make the phone kind of magically appear here on the screen. So. All right, so now that we have the phone, notice that I am in Dynamics 365 on my phone. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the bottom right on the meatball menu or well, ellipsis button if you wanna get technical. And then I'm gonna go into the quick create menu here and click on lead. Now notice that I have the scan business card button all the way to the top, unlike the actual computer. Let's move it right here to the left so we can look at it again. Unlike this one where it shows me just those three little dashes up there. I wish they were blank so I don't see anything. So I have the scan business card here in the phone and now I'm going to go ahead and click on it and notice that it enables my screen. And sorry about the messy desk and uh, my dude here is holding my card. Oh, my card just dropped. Let's pick it up again. All right, dude. Hold it, man. Come on. Uh, let's go ahead and take a picture of that. Sorry, got away from the microphone. So let's take that and say use photo and give it a second here. 
And now notice that immediately populates the picture of my card and it also fills up my first name, last name, job title, company name, email, phone number. It's pretty useful. So now I can just save and close. And obviously I have to add a topic to it uh, because it's a required field, but I will just be able to save and close and create the lead automatically in the system. So I can just walk around with my business card scanner, click on you know the button, uh, take a picture of a card, save and close, and that creates a lead or a contact or even custom entities. This thing works everywhere. It's pretty awesome. Go ahead and take a look, give it a shot, let me know how it works, and I hope you enjoyed the tip this week, and we'll see you next week.